coasting episode um i have a huge announcement to make i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this i finally hit um kind of what i wanted to do with my youtube channel being that i've been doing it for almost a year to the date uh, i finally got to 500 subscribers and that that's really cool for me um, i want to keep continuing to grow but 500 was kind of that magic number i wanted to get to um to it really helped uh motivate me and get back into this uh because i know that like i said last week i took a break for a while um so as I informed y'all a while back, once I hit my 500 subscriber mark, I was going to pick one of my subscribers to come out with me and Captain James, and uh, we were going to go on a charter, go out for a day of fishing, um, hopefully catch a lot of fish, get a good video together, and uh, hopefully give you one of the best trips you'll ever go on in your life. Um, so being that we're going to go target Sheep's Head, and they're starting to move around in Pensacola, um, I figured why not just go ahead and make a video and try to share some knowledge, give y'all some information, you know, the best rigs, the best rods, reels, stuff like that that y'all can use um, to where you can go out and have a successful trip trying to target these sheep's head. Um, so we're going to go ahead and dive right into this. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and uh, we'll keep these videos coming to you. Alrighty, so one of the, the biggest things that you need to know whenever you want to target these sheep's head is uh, when can I catch them and uh, where is the base plus, be, best places to go out and target sheep's head. Um, one of my favorite places to go is uh, any of the local bridges. You know, you got the I-10 bridge, Sykes Bridge, Three Mile Bridge. You got, there's so many bridges around here and um, they're, they're super, super good places to go and target these fish because sheep's head hang around the pylons. They um, eat the, you know, the crustaceans and stuff, the crabs, the shrimp, the shell, you know, all the good stuff that's on those pylons. Um, that's that's kind of, that's their main diet is the crustaceans. So they love being around that kind of stuff. Um, another really good place to uh, target sheep's head would be sea walls. Um, there's a couple around here. Um, Palafox is a really good one. It's, it's loaded with them uh, during certain times of the year. Um, the jetties are also, that's a really, really good spot to go out and catch a ton of sheep's head, especially later in the spawn when they're kind of pushing out of the bay, um, headed to the pass to go out into the Gulf of Mexico to do their spawn. Um, if you find rocks, there's going to be sheep's head there. So we got, um, and then another good one would be structures such as old wrecks and stuff like that that are in the bay that, you know, they, they just want structure that has stuff around it that they can eat. Um, so any of the, the wrecks really out in Pensacola Bay or out in the Gulf of Mexico, they probably have sheep's head on them right now. Um, so the next thing we're going to get into is what I believe would be the best, the perfect sheep's head setup. Um, me personally, one of my favorites is, I just got this reel, it's a uh, Pin Fierce 3, 3000. Um, it's, it's a really good reel, has plenty of power to where you can stop these fish, um, and it's just, it's like, all around, it's a, a perfect inshore rod. Um, I love it. Um, I have it with a uh, six six star stellar light. Um, it's a that's one of the best rods I've ever owned in my life. Uh, the, it, it's got the good the rod tips real fast on it, so you can really feel those subtle bites from these sheep's head. And you, I've also caught some giant snapper on it too. So they have the backbone that you need to where you can stop one of these fish and get it out of the structure. Alrighty guys, so um, this is a Spin Fisher 4500. It would also be another a great just all around inshore reel. It's got plenty of backbone. Um, it's got 20 pound braid on it and it's on a seven foot ugly stick, uh, medium heavy. Uh, this is, like I said, this would be another perfect, perfect setup to where you could, you know, you could drop your bait down on the pylons and you wouldn't have to worry about that sheep's head popping you off because you could be able to put out the power that you need to where you could get that fish's head turned and get him out of the uh, out of that structure and off those rocks, out of the pylon, off that wreck, you know, 
whatever whatever it is that you're fishing around. Um, as I said, 15, 20 pound braid, that is all you're gonna need. You don't need to go out there with, you know, 65 pound braid. Um, you don't wanna go too light, uh, just so you can put the power down on this fish that you need to where you can get its head turned. Um, another, another setup that I have is, this is a Pin Conflict 3000. It's on a seven foot six St. Croix, uh, medium heavy with a fast action tip. Um, the good thing about these fast action tips is they're, they're super flimsy. So if you get a little bitty bump, you know, it, you really, really get a good feel of um, when that fish hits. Um, so yeah, just, you know, 2,500, 4,500, uh, that real size is perfect. And six, six, seven foot, seven, six, that's a, um, a great rod combo that you would want to put on that and um, like I said medium heavy is all you're gonna need uh, fast action tip preferably for sheep's head just because their bites are so subtle and um, they don't really hit it and take off like other fish so that'll be that's just a perfect setup for you okay guys so now we're gonna go over um, some of the rigs that you can use and uh, you know setups that you can use to go out and catch these fish um, some of the best baits for sheep's head, personally, that I think would be um, like fiddler crabs or just small crabs um, and shrimp. That's that's really the only two things I, I use. A lot of people use clams and ghost crabs and all this other stuff. But I, I personally, I stick to smaller size shrimp, you know, the three inch size um, and crabs. I love using crabs. They they always eat crabs. Let's just uh, get that out of the way. Um, One of my favorite ways to target this fish are these um sheep's head jigs i love them um i've caught most of my sheep's head on that jig um usually i, I like i prefer this smaller one i think it's uh, probably a quarter ounce or something like that and it's got the same hook that i use on my carolina rigs and stuff like that and then they also have when the current's ripping they have a little bit big one with a four times strong hook on it and um those are really really good good jigs to go out and target these fish um another Another setup that I use is, uh, you know, a basic Carolina rig. I got a three quarter ounce weight, a small swivel, 12 to 20 pound fluorocarbon, and a size four Eagle Claw live bait hook. Uh, you don't want to use big hooks on these fish because they are, they can get finicky and you don't use big giant baits for them. You know, you use little bitty crabs, uh, smaller shrimp, stuff like that. So you don't want to kind of outgun them. Um, and you don't want them to fill this hook because a sheep's head, it'll suck it in their mouth and literally just spit your hook out. So you don't want them to fill that hook at all so that you, you have an opportunity to set that hook and get it in his lip and um, land that fish. Um, another super effective way to catch these fish is just a J-hook tied straight. You take your leader, tie it straight to your main line, and then you run your leader and then tie on a J-hook and put a little split shot, you know, a foot or so up above your hook. And that's a... A super good way to basically free line that crab or that shrimp down those pylons on top of the rock stuff like that and get those fish to come up and eat and that is also a great way to get those fish to eat whenever they're being they're over pressured too many people are fishing them um, or they get real finicky or leader shines so they don't want to see they they see the weights um, so you want to you want to kind of gear down and you super light tackle whenever whenever they you feel like there's fish there and you're not you're just not getting bites you want to gear down, use 12, 14, you know, pound fluorocarbon, small, small weight, small, small hooks, and you want to just put that crab or that shrimp right in front of their face and they're going to eat it. All right, y'all. Um, so I'm going to kind of wrap this video up, but I kind of want to stick it in your brains. Um, make sure if you want to go out and target sheep's head, you go to Bird of Prey Tackle and get some of these jigs. Um, I, I, have a really, I have a really strong connection to them because I struggled with sheep's head for a while when I originally moved here. Um, but now I'm kind of getting them dialed in, getting them figured out, know when they're moving, where they're at, what baits to use, you know, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to put the link below, but you guys have got to go get some of these jigs. Um, they, they produce fish, let's just say that. Um, Make sure that you don't sit at one spot all day. Um, if you're gonna go out fishing for sheep's head, you know, a, a bridge, and you're pitching a bait to a pylon, and you're there, you know, 20 minutes, and you're not getting a bite, you need to reel up and move. Go to the next pylon, the next pylon, and you just hop pylons or hop rocks or, you know, move around the rock pile, because there's gonna be fish on those bridges, on those rocks, on the jetties, on the sea walls, they're gonna be there, but it's gonna take you to not get upset with yourself, be patient, move spots, and you'll eventually find those fish. Cause I've even noticed that I've sat, 
I've sat on one pylon for 40 minutes, didn't catch one fish, went two pylons over, first bait I put in the water, five minutes later I was, you know, I was bowed up on a sheep's head. Um, so I really hope this video helps somebody out that uh, needs it. Um, if you do go out and use some of the stuff you learned in this video and you happen to catch some sheep's head, share them with me. I like, I like to see my videos helping people. That's, that's kind of why, why I'm doing all these how-to videos. Um, I have a Facebook. I have an Instagram. Comment below. You'd be like, hey, you know, I went out and I caught some sheep's head. Thanks for it. You know, just I, li I like to see that what I'm doing is helping people and they can go out and catch fish. Um, if you haven't already, go down and hit that subscribe button, like, comment on this video. Um, hopefully, like I said, hopefully it'll help somebody out. And uh, I'm going to release the winner of my giveaway probably next week or the week after that. And we're going to go out and I'm a, we're going to go out and bust some of these sheep's head um, out in Pensacola Bay. But uh, I'll see you guys next week. Y'all keep coasting.